Hello everyone, I'm Loiku and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. This is episode whatever it is, I believe 10 or so. And yeah, last episode we did these medium gates. Uh, I had a bit of delays at the start of this episode and it seems like most of them are gone, but we're still having some trouble. It also seems like we're having some issues with security, even though I think we are pretty good. Yeah, so some queues are longer than others, but in general it's all fine. Uh, we're definitely not short of security. It seems like there's a bit of a queue here at the runway, but that might be because these, most of them depart and arrive at the same time. So. This will probably also get resolved, so that's also fairly good. And then, yeah, we also got the baggage, but it seems like there's a little bit of a queue. So, yeah, let's get a few more ramp agents in here on each side. Let's get about five each. It probably also means that we might, yes, need a few more ramp agents. So we'll get those, and then we'll get onto building uh, our catering and cleaning. Because that's what we're going to do this episode, catering and cleaning, and then if we have some time left, we can do some stuff in the terminal of the medium aircraft. So those problems should be gone, it's time to go to catering and cleaning. Now, a lot of our space is kind of filled up, and sadly enough, uh, I think they have to go above ground. So let's see if we can place them underground, we can't. Is the same true for the catering? Yes, okay. I'm going to do it like this, I think, but I'll get the waste depot first. So, we'll do it just like this. And then we can also get the cleaning catering depot. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, we'll do it like this. Uh, okay, then we can get the service roads in. So one will run up here and I'm leaving it like this because otherwise it will link up like right here and then that will drive right here. I don't want that. So we'll do it just like this. And we don't have to connect it like this because we'll get one of the public roads in right there. So maybe we'll just do it like this or we'll get a tunnel. I think we'll get a tunnel. There's a perfect spot right here and then it can come up somewhere uh, but that's all getting built that's awesome now let's see about the tunnel then so I think that yes that fits in perfectly right there just like that and then where would we want it to come up I think that if we would go like this we wouldn't be able to connect the tunnel on the lower side so I'm keen to just so it's not like that, like this, and then have it go loop around. So just like that, up to where the tunnel is, like that. And then we can link it up right here again. Okay. Oh, let's also not forget to place these two tiles so everything is connected up. But I think that, ooh, that something we might want here is uh, one or two depots, just because otherwise they have to come all the way from the other side of the airport, we don't want that. So let's see, can we get some roads in first, and I think that I just want to do it like this. And then we can have multiple depots, I think two should be fine, uh, right here and here, awesome, we could even have one here, I mean we could have two more actually, right here and here, but we might, I mean what I'll do is I'll put it down in planning mode, so I won't, don't forget that it's a possibility, but I won't build it right away. Uh, let's see, just like that, and yes, I know that realistically, <laughs> we you wouldn't have something right here, right where the planes are landing, but yeah, 
it would be re called a realistic airport simulator if that would be necessary. And it isn't, so that's all fine. And yeah, like I thought, the queue right here is completely gone. There's a few flights uh, in pattern, but I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, it, it's fine. Okay, so once everything is built, we'll also rename these depots to uh, Waste Depot 1. And once this gets built, we'll also rename that one to Waste Depot. No, not Waste Depot. Catering Depot 1. Okay. Another object of the same type is already named. What? So we've got Waste Depot. What would our Catering Depot be? I don't get it. I don't have a single depot called Catering Depot. Well, well, we could try again. Oh. Oh, okay. So. It's because this is the same name and... Okay, we'll add a vehicle in between there. Okay, waste vehicle depot one and... Catering vehicle depot one. So that should work, okay. Then what we'll do is... We'll get some contracts. So... I mean, I think we'll, we only need one. Uh, the wastes one, I don't think we need a contract for. So we'll go to catering food suppliers and let's see. I think our best bet might be a 5 star one. So that's, let's see. 61 cents, 41. Okay, let me is pretty good. Oh, wow. Weirdly enough, it's a 3 star contract. Yet it's cheaper than... This is also a 3 star and it's cheaper. Is this just because the deliveries are bigger? That's odd. 77, 69, nice by the way. 30 as well, why are all of these 30? It's like the 3 stars are the good ones. Yeah, that's real odd. Yeah. I don't see any reason for going with the pricey with the five star ones then. So if you do know why that why I would go for the five star ones, do let that know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I'm just not sure. Oh 26! That's crazy. I mean we're definitely going for this one. Surveyor, you got the contract. <laughs> and Okay, so those will be will get delivered uh, soon enough. The trucks will arrive, I think. Oh, they're already there. That's great to see. Uh, yeah, the meals will get produced. So, what we'll do then is get some vehicles. So, we'll purchase vehicles. And where are they? It's the catering truck. And hmm, how much would I get? I mean, we can only do 10 in one go, so we'll get definitely get 10 of each. And we have 40 medium stands for now, so I'm thinking that we just do the full 14, or even 15, so we have one spare. And then if we would run into problems, we can always get more. So we'll get 5 more of each. Like that, and then... Once they arrive at the airport, I'll link them all to these two depots. Okay, so er I think every single one that shows up right here is now assigned. Unless any more have showed up. I don't think... I don't know why some of them aren't right here, because I do definitely... At least I think I ordered 15. Because while the order was still in process, I did change the number. So it could be that it means I got delivered less amount of vehicles. Nah, we'll see. 
if we don't have enough with them, then that's fine. I assigned all of them right here. And something else I did, if we go underground right here, I said that only K3 and uh, cleaning tr trucks can come here, and of course all the other um, emergency stuff and delivery trucks. And then pushback trucks can also come here because if a plane has to go in a hangar, then it also has to get pushed back, so we need that for those. Realistically speaking, I could have put the settings right here, but too late for that now. <laughs> but yeah, I think now the only thing that remains is to just open up. Uh, no, not open up. Toggle on the service because I don't think I forgot anything. We're also having plenty of money, so we can definitely slow the game down a little bit, at least. Um, so yeah, let's go to operations. Uh, and then go ahead and turn on both of these services. Yeah, we have every everything, all requirements that these have, so that's awesome. Okay, so now any planes landing should requ or require those services. How is this doing? Well, it's okay-ish, at least are a little bit too late. So that's not good. But security is doing great for now. Everything's doing good. Then, how are our... Uh, let's see... Staffing... Let's see, how, do we need any more staff people? Some ramp agents and security officers would be great. Maybe also some janitors. So we'll get some of the those. Uh, oh, but these are all trash. I mean, they should go in the plane and get picked up by those uh, waste uh, things. That's how bad they are. Anyway, we'll also accept good ones. And then let's also take a look at the janitors. Lots of good ones here as well. So, yeah. Okay. Let's follow you. Oh, you are. You've just come in. And yes, you have every service. That's awesome. Okay, well, so now we should see a few vehicles. Yes. That's awesome. Two, of, two vehicles of each are leaving. Uh. The waste uh, truck is immediately going out, the catering truck is first getting its uh, meals picked up, that's awesome! That's so great. Also, um, what I'm going to do is, just so that we always have some meals stored, I mean, is it a problem really? No, it's not, it's fine. Uh, so, uh, soon enough the waste truck should arrive uh, let's see where is it right here and then it will hook onto the aircraft and one thing for the large aircraft is that they actually sometimes use multiple of them that's so you need multiple per, per stand whereas now we have 10 for 14 stands which I'm just going to get the five more I mean I can take another look if the vehicles are present but they are not, so let's get five more. Five more of each, and then I can link them as well. Okay. I mean, that's kind of a bug, actually. So, you could pay for one, and then while this is running, you could go to ten. That's insane. So you could basically get 90% for free of the vehicles you get. No, even worse, you could bulk order vehicles and then sell them and buy 10 more, but only pay for one and then get refund for all of those. That's kind of a bug I maybe should report, so I might do that after the episode is recorded using this little nifty tool. Uh, but oh, I think it has already been cleaned, already catering is on board. It was quite a small aircraft though, so let's see. Oh, all also done. Right here. Done. Done. Heck. Oh, no, no catering here. Oh, catering is in process. Okay, so yeah, you can see they go on to the aircraft on the other side or right here at the back doors. That's also possible. Oh, and you can't see this, but I've just got an achievement. Um, something else which I noticed is that there's an achievement of coloring 
some vehicles. So let's see, can we actually color those? Do I have to right click them or something? No, set, show, show in menu, no. Maybe using the paint, paintbrush, so we'll select gray. Can I do it like, oh I can! That's awesome. So what if I get purple belt loaders? <laughs> That's actually quite looking good. Purp These aren't looking good in purple, so let's see. Can we get blue? How are our preset colors? And it's oh, that's actually not too bad. Can we get these though? Oh, oh, that's even better. Yes. Okay, so our pushback trucks will be that color. I've decided. We can also paint jetways if we would have them, but we're just using the lower floor. We can't yet. Oh, and that's weird. Not every aircraft has the little Santa hat. I mean, Christmas has passed. Definitely by the time you're seeing this episode, but yeah, that's that's weird. That some aircraft don't. Uh, yeah. Now we're not that far in, into the episode yet. So what I'm thinking is we have all of these spaces right here in the terminal. And in the future, I might actually put all of these on the second floor, and then we can have just have the double uh, wall collider here, here, on every gate, and then all the way to the other wall, we can have a shop, a lounge. So that's what we're going to do right now. But it's quite a small area for now. But we might move them in the future. So why don't we first get a few bathrooms in and? So I'm thinking we get some walls on each side, and I don't know why I've picked this spot, but it's nice and central, I guess. So I think that this is even, yeah. So 12 would be the middle, so we'll just get a double wall right here. Alternatively, how wide is this? 120 as well, okay. And then we'll get maybe a door in the middle and then one male one female male bathroom on each side I mean one of e each on each side no not one of each you get what I mean one on each side just like that and it's amazing to see when a new aircraft arrives to just see each one of each going out of the depot one of them immediately going, one of them stopping here to get some uh, meals picked up. And what is your problem with pathfinding? I think that should be resolved. Yeah, you are definitely able to get there, otherwise we'd have big problems. Let's finish those bathrooms because we need some doors as well in here like that and let's get this one female and this one male do the female one first actually before we do that we'll get some tiles in which ones do we use here let's see we should also decorate some of this uh, get some shops get some bathrooms so which tiles we use the very small clinkers okay handy to know so we'll use those here as well. Get all of this nice tiled up. And then we can start placing some of the stuff. So I'm thinking uh, four sinks with hand dryer in the middle. And then maybe we can get a plant and a trash can. So we'll do the same on this side. A trash can and maybe different plants. I mean, yeah, we shouldn't copy it because the male bathroom also needs some urine war urinals. So we'll just do it manually. Uh, let's first get all the toilets in here. So I'm just going to pause it for a little bit just to see how we should get it in. So does this fit? It totally does, so I think that's what I'm going to go for. I mean, in theory I could get one more in, which... What I'm going to do is get a wall in there. 
I mean, that doesn't look great, does it? We'll see how it is when it gets built, otherwise we'll do hedges. Actually, we'll just do hedges anyways. Why not? Hedges are way better looking. So, we'll do that. And then we'll have to do something different for, for the urinals. So I'm thinking that we sort of do the same. So we have also these hedges. Right here. And then we also have the normal toilets in the middle. Or alternatively, we have just the normal toilets at the back. And then we have this wall, because I'm not doing hedges right here, where the urinals can be, and the same is true for this. I mean, we could also have a wall right here, just to have it a little bit symmetrical, which I think I'm just going to do. And then we can have our urinals. Might not be the most practical bathroom ever, but... It works, so I'm happy with that. And this one is fully built, so it can open up. And the same is almost true for this one. I mean, the things we need are built, so we can just go ahead and open it up so the passengers can start using it. And how are services doing? A little bit of delays, but that's... Some of them are medium, yeah. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh, C. Okay, no. Only the D gates are medium. Okay. I was just panicking for a little bit, thinking a Seagate didn't get uh, catering and aircraft cabin cleaning, which is the official name. But the Seagates are just these down below here. Uh, yeah, the, these are the Seagates. So that's fine. And anybody using the bathroom? Less people than I expected, honestly. I mean, how are you? Don't you need to go to the toilet? No, not really. Yeah, they're mostly fine. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, some people are using it, so that's fine, I guess. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and maybe get? So what we could do is get maybe another bathroom in here. No, we'll get two lounges here. A lounge here, and then a shop and a cafe. Or, lounge, lounge, cafe, shop, restaurant. Yes, let's do it like that. So for today, we'll just get the uh, lounges in. No, you know what? Let's do the lounges next episode. So you guys have something to look forward to. We'll do the cafe and maybe the shop today. So let's see. Let's do the shop first. I think. I mean, food room. I think it's. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Not that. I want a shop. Shop room. Okay. I was kind of confused. Say it's saying, saying food room. So let's see. One on each side should be fine. And then let's see. I mean, I could do something like that. Do I have anything? Okay, so maybe like this. Okay. And then maybe some small ones at the end. And we shouldn't forget to get some trash cans in maybe. So let's see, uh, wall mounted pedestal, let's get a few pedestals in right here, which fills it in wonderfully, I mean, there's not really space for a trash can, so we'll get them outside of the shop, maybe right here and here, and then here and here, and then We'll also look for a contract, so... Do I dare going for Swarovski? 
We've tried it before. Same for Belanger Jewelers or Rolex. I mean, it's only 100 sales, so that should be fine, realistically. Let's just go for it. Let's, let's dare it. I'm not sure if it will go to plan, but... Yeah. Fingers crossed, I guess. Uh, but let's get let's take a look at and see what floor we use right here. What color is it? It's the light blue for the shop and then the grayish uh, color for the cafe. Okay, that's good to know. So we'll grab those colors. Fancy mats, both of them. And that's one negative thing about uh, these shops and cafes is that it takes quite a long time for the franchise staff to arrive. Oh, that's... It took them almost an hour and a half after uh, opening time to get there. So that's not that's not very great, but... Once again, it is what it is. And then here we'll get the one for the food room in. And for the food room, we'll have to be a little bit more... We'll have to take a look first at what the food rooms want, because... They want some special things, I, if I remember correctly. Uh, but in the meantime, we can, I think, grab this color and color our pedestals and shop counter stuff. So that's a little bit nicer. Fine. Yeah, so... I don't think this shop is going to make it. <laughs> it hasn't got a single sale. It's been open for two hours. Two hours and not a single sale. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, it might just be that the pathfinding isn't good yet or something. Well, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait and see. But I don't have any good hopes uh, on that front. So, let's see in terms of cafe. I, I want a five star one, I think. So, let's take a look. A four star one would also be fine. CLM Deluxe Restaurant, oh that's a restaurant, we don't want that. So I think for a cafe it's just display fridges. Uh, Casta Coffee is always a good one. Subway, oh Subway pays good, pays good. Let's go, let's go for Subway, so we need a cafe counter and then some, oh. Let's go for Casta Coffee, because this one is a restaurant, we might get Subway for the top one. Yeah, let's do Casta Coffee for this one. Also, the game can be slowed down a little bit, so performance is a, li performance is a little bit better. So I think it was eight play fridges. So let's see, restaurants and cafes, play fridge. Uh, so what are we going to do? What I'm thinking is we have some of them facing out, which I think this is the correct orientation. We have them on each side. And then we have uh, a cashier counter in the middle. Plonked right there. And then in the middle we can have some seating. So let's go ahead and seating. We'll get some tables. Let's move square around I think. Oh, and what I'm actually going to do, I just thought of it, is that let's go ahead and get them a little bit of an enclosure to seating. So it looks a little bit nicer. Oh, that's what we want. Uh, let's get go one more in on each side, so it's looking nice. And then let's get our seating. So I'm thinking we go for square tables right here. Okay. I mean, what I thing is, I'm not sure on how these seating actually the seating actually works. So let's go ahead and take a look at our heat map for walkable area for our cafe we have right here. Okay, so the passengers can't walk on the seating, so it means that we do actually need the space right here in between the seating. Same right here, we need this space. I mean, technically here we don't, but... Yeah, okay, so... 
I think I'm actually going to do something in terms of how this is uh, done right here. So we'll turn off the uh, heat map and pause the game for a little bit so nothing gets spilled yet. And then we'll get the square table. And then let's see, we can have something like this. Uh, do we want it like that? Not sure. I think this would be better. Okay, and then we'll get some modern arm uh, or some chairs. Let's get s just some chairs. Uh, maybe on this side, and then the arm chairs can go next to the hedges. Just like that, and then we can't forget to color them. And let's also just get the game running again, so everything gets built. And then copy and paste this to the other side. And then in the middle. What should we do in the middle? I'm thinking of having it the other uh, uh, direction, so maybe some round tables just like this and then we can have one more maybe I mean that like this should work I think and let's also just get the chairs and now everything can be reached and we've got lots of seating so let's see if the contract is still there Cast the coffee, accept it, sign. So those will all get built and let's just maybe zone all of this secure so you can get somewhere. Because I think someone is stuck. Does that fix it for you? Yes it does, awesome. And look at that livery! It's an awesome livery of United! Oh it's a Star Wars one! That's sick! What aircraft is it? The 737-800. That's a sick livery. I mean, at the beginning I was kind of disappointed with all of the Among Us liveries, but, I mean, you gotta give it to it. This, look, this looks great. It's an it's a amazing color. Same for this one. Lots of liveries, lots of aircraft as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with all the aircraft I have. Anyways, the seating isn't in yet, but we can still color them oh, yeah, already, so I think the tables, we all had them grey. Uh, and it's looking a little bit dark, but just be that's just because it's closed, because once again, it takes a while for the stuff to get here. Uh, and then the seating... Did we have this? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's try it, and then let's see how the, the darker one looks. I mean, we could just have the armchairs be the darker one. Let's have the armchairs be darker, yes. And then we forgot to do some of the other chairs, so we'll get those as well. And that should everything be colored, so once it's... Oh, we didn't actually get the contract yet, so, so that's why they hadn't arrived yet. So now it will be accepted. And let's see, are you getting your sales? Oh wow, you've got two sales in 10 hours. I'm sure you'll get to 100. Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Okay, so I think we just about have the time to get that last one in. We'll have to do it to quick seize, but that should be fine. We can copy some of the seating from here. So let's see. Uh, first of all, we'll get this one, the correct one. And... We'll do the flooring later, uh, but let's see, so, no, not shop, oh, no, food room, okay, that's fine, uh, and then let's see, what were the requirements again, uh, so subway, just four cooking stations, okay, that seems fine, and do we actually have the floor space which is required, yes, of course, okay. Um, so let's see. Let's go to restaurants. So we, of course, also need some cashiers. 
which let's get the cooking stations first and let's see so we'll get them facing outwards like this they're taking them up about the same space as the display fridges in the cafe uh, but then we'll also need the, these which can go right in the middle and we're actually getting double the amount of cooking stations we actually need but let's see we could then actually just have it be like this instead which I think I'm going to do that looks a little bit better okay and then once again we can copy all of this and plonk it in right here in the middle oh wait huh okay so I placed these top ones in the wrong place so we'll replace them one bit lower but I think that's pretty much everything that has to be there and while it's not built yet we can still accept the contract so we'll do it like that and then let's see what flooring did we use I think we did something else for the ceiling but it was so uh, the gray wood for everything else we had the orange wood for the staff area and then the dark wood for the ceiling. Okay, so that's complicated, let's remember that. So it was the grey wood for everything else, so we'll just fully do it in the grey uh, wood first. And then we had the orange wood, I think, for... Is it that one? It must be. Yeah, we have the orange wood for the staff area. So we'll get that all plonked in. And then the ceiling was this darker one. So we'll just get the whole area. And I'm going to do the same for the cafe. Just get the whole area nice and floored in with some special flooring. Do the same for these cashiers. And actually, let's do the same for the shop. It's a bit of a different register, but let's just get it a little bit floored in. Oh, and everything has been built. That's awesome to see. I'm hoping that this will also get some sales. It's going to close quite soon, but I think that about also wraps up the episode. So. We're getting some sales, not a lot, but it has been open for very long. I'm really hoping that these survive, but if you enjoyed what we did today, which is these four rooms, I mean five technically, there's two bathrooms, and of course the yeah, the cleaning and the catering. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more or any other series, which are also linked right here in the end cards. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Airport CEO. Goodbye, everyone.